And don't miss it. Wednesday, August 30th, is the official kickoff of the BattleBot season. When it comes to designing robots, most builders follow the adage, KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. Well, that's what that means. <laughs> Professional robot builders Dan Danik and Tony Bucciani told us how simple it really is. First, figure out what you want to do to your opponent. Flip him, cut him, smash him, slice him, whatever. Then, find the metals you need. Figure out the mechanics you need to put it together. Pneumatics, motors, linear actuators. Build your control system. Do you need H-bridges, relays, micro switches with servo motors? Find your batteries, NICADs, gel cells, gas engines. Maybe you want to go with hydraulics. Then build your base. Steel, aluminum, titanium, plastic. Find some wheels, put some bearings on there. Needle bearings, roller bearings, tapered roller bearings, thrust bearings, bushings. Put it on the ground, oh it works. <laughs> Get to the event on time. After taking in the preliminary fights and getting just a glimpse at some of the behind the scenes action, you may be wondering why these people do what they do. Sure, there's a the thrill of victory and the undeniable pride in thoroughly kicking someone else's ass, not to mention the prize money. Yeah, but there's something even more valuable. That nut is the motivating force that compels every BattleBot builder to spend countless hours in the garage, forsaking their family and friends to pursue a dream of domination in the world of robotic combat. Well, we'll be back with the official start of the BattleBot tournament. First round action begins with Ziggo versus Missing Link. Mauler versus Nightmare. Overkill versus Frenzy. Well, until next time, I'm Sean Salisbury. And I'm Bill Dwyer. Good night.